Hi, thanks for watching. I'm uh, going to tie for you a what's called a crystal boatman, and I'll be tying on a BL 200 size 10. I like this hook because it's a 2x, it's a 2x strong, and back swimmers are often uh, taken very viciously uh, from our experiences, both in the spring and in the fall time. So we'll start with just running 12 watt nano silk. We'll just lay it down a base layer one of our thread <clears throat> and we come back up the hook shank uh, two-thirds of the way up the body and we'll lay in our rubber legs first so Originally we were tying with small black rubber square hackle membrane material that came out back in the 70s, uh, late 70s, early 80s. Then the centipede legs came out and they're variegated or barred. Um, I kind of like them as well. They're a nice round material and fairly even and consistent. Um, so when you lay in the legs you'll have pretty much a mirror image between a left leg and a right leg and that helps prevent it uh, from spinning either while uh, retrieving it in the water so I'll just lash that in a little bit uh, crisscross and then a couple of figure eights we'll do here shortly and that locks it all in just want to sort of keep it all squared and then build a little staging ramp in the back here to help push the legs forward at a 45 to 60 degree angle um, you'll find when back swimmers are at rest uh, that the rear legs the longer legs will almost always be pointing forward and this is often when the fly pattern is hit so it's a critical part I think in the profile uh, but it does, like I said, mention it does or can cause a problem with spinning the fly. So that's why this is a casting fly and not a trolling fly. Um, you have a lot less problems casting the pattern. There will still be some spinning, but it's easily taken out as opposed to trolling where you have mindlessly drag it along and you, you don't notice it, the spinning of the material because it's in the water forever. And so it's very difficult to establish how much spin is really put into your twist is put into your leader. So now I'll take for a tail three to four pieces of crinkle flash, lay them in on top and tie them back slightly. Bring the material, clip it off. Again, I'll, lay, I'll put my scissors in at the back of the bend, lay them to a 45 degree angle and cut and that's a good length there. The shell back is generally, uh, we use nymph skin or you can use pearl scud material, uh, but I like the nymph skin, I just cut it into small manageable strips. And this will be a black version, of course. You can use a modeled version if you choose, it's up to you. And I'll just taper the end slightly on this material. separated from the backing. And we'll tie it in by this point we established. slightly forward to I'll just bring the thread back to the base of the tail and now I'll add in the straggle string, the micro in a white. Uh, it's an exceptional 
pattern has got a lot of UV in, in, in it and it makes an excellent air pocket or bubble um, for the back section or the back portion of the body. Just bring that up in behind the eye of the hook, or behind the rubber legs, I mean. Slightly short. Lay in a bit of head cement, this will help penetrate, penetrate deep into the material. And then now we'll just run touching turns. one or two wraps short of the legs. Um, i do that because I want to start my contrasting color uh, the next portion of the body just behind the legs. And here we'll use a uh, darker olive pattern. Again with more UV in it. Darker olive material. Uh, a micro straggle. These legs build up a dam slightly so they can't run away on me. And I'll still try to maintain that angle of these, these legs. So one full turn, if you can get it sneaking a second one, that's fine. If not, that's okay as well. And I'll build up a slight Slightly thicker thorax. We'll do a second pass to the back, in front of the legs, and then a third pass of the material to behind the eye of the hook. So we've built up just a slight taper. Locking turns, cut off our excess olive chenille, micro chenille, micro straggle. They're all chenilles, you know that. You can call them brills or gel core or fritz, but they're all chenille products from the chenille trade industry. Where the word frizz was used as one of the parts, that's where the word fritz comes from, and the gel core from the new GSP threads that are used in the industry. If they're bonded, they're uh, now known as a gel core fritz, but it's just a play, an old form of cockneyism, play on words. Uh, they're all chenilles, whether they're bonded or not bonded. The difference is, are they a 2 mil, a 3 mil, 5 mil, 7 mil, 10 mil, 12 mil, 15, 20, 30, that's the difference. The length of the individual fibers coming from a 90 degree angle of the center spun core. So now I'm just going to trim my legs to length, which is tail length. Tail length. And that is a completed... Crystal Bowman. Hope you enjoy that. Very simple, easy pattern. Very, very effective. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.